we have recovered uh, three more bodies. We are now up to a total of seven uh, that we have uh, uh, recovered. Uh, we are still working on identifying those seven. We want to notify the families as soon as possible. But as you might uh, understand, and I hope you and know you will, this is a long uh, process uh, that we're involved in, and we're going to certainly let you know when that information is ready to release, but we do not want to release it until they have been positively identified, until we have uh, been able to notify the families uh, of that identification. And certainly uh, I can say at this time that all of us are, are praying for those families and and are very distressed at the loss of life uh, in this uh, situation and, and we continue our efforts to, uh, uh, to move into these areas and, and recover and, and we have zones uh, uh, created across the county that we're moving into and, and, and a very as rapidly as we can and, and moving forward on that but uh, we have found uh, three more uh, uh, bodies. I'm hoping here, but this is a once in a lifetime event. I've never seen anything. I mean, it was a perfect storm and, and for everything to happen, it had to happen with the exact timing that it did for this to happen. Everything had to be in place and unfortunately it was in place. And, and I've, uh, I've, I've been in Sevier County uh, 63 years uh, born and raised here, and I've never seen anything even close to this in this county. Never, and, and I don't expect to see it again.